I was struck at the weekend by a newspaper article I was sent. The long and short of it is Sadiq Khan is a complete hypocrite. So, oh yeah, I'll give this a read. And it all circles around a little business trip he's taken. But I do have to wonder, is the whole shouting from the rooftops, he's a hypocrite, a big distraction? And is there more going on? <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, last video of the day, and as always, thank you very much for your support, please make sure notification bells hit so you keep up to date with everything that comes out here, subscribe to the channel, give it the thumbs up, share and make comments, it all helps spread the word and makes the channel grow, very much appreciated. Now, Sadiq Khan has taken a little trip to New York of all places uh, to attend what has been uh, publicly classed as a climate summit. Now, people like Howard Cox and various others have all turned around and said he's a complete hypocrite because he's expanded the ULEZ zone to all of London, charging people £12.50 a day to drive within, all in the name of clearing up so-called poisonous air. For the benefit of this video, I'm not going to go there because we already have, and we know what the answers to that are. So he jumps on a ruddy great jumbo jet, carbon emissions galore over the Atlantic to another country let's have a look at the newspaper article this came from first of all i'll just put this on the screen for you okay and as usual i'll just increase the size of this so it cuts little old me out so we can see sadiq khan has been branded an upper hypocrite after it emerged she plans to fly to New York this weekend, which is obviously the last couple of days, with five of his aides to talk at the Climate Summit. It's understood the Labour London Mayor will use international platform to celebrate his highly controversial expansion of the ultra-low emission zone to the whole of London. Uh, and there's a little bit about the £12.50 gubbins there. Apparently Prince William is going to be at this summit and it will see uh, him attend the United Nations General Assembly and take part in a climate summit uh, as the row continues over his ULEZ. You can see Susan Hall there, the uh, Tory candidate for Mayor of London, who says that she's going to scrap the expansion. I don't think so, considering where the entire policy originally uh, initiated from many, many years ago. Uh you can see all the text there on it. Utter hypocrite. Howard Cox, very nice bloke. And now I hope he gets somewhere. Uh, again, hypocrite. That's what it's all about. Just, just filled full of hypocrisy. And there's a little bit there. Uh, Mr. Khan said, I'm looking forward to visiting New York, where I'll be banging the drum for London, showcasing our capital as the perfect destination for businesses to invest in and tourists to visit as I continue working to build a more prosperous London for everybody. Determined for London to continue being a world leader and tackling the twin dangers of air pollution and the climate emergency, my visit to the UN is an opportunity to learn from other cities and nations and ensure London remains at the forefront of global action. So that's the statement from Sadiq Khan. Now, I don't think this is anything new, folks. I really don't, because he is very much involved with climate, climate change and all the rest of it. I will leave the link to that newspaper article below so you can read it. But I find the choice of cities very, very uh, convenient, which I'll show you in a minute. But just to uh, point out to you, folks, uh, there's an organisation called C40 Cities, uh, many of you who subscribe to this channel will know what that is. But it's an organization made up of cities throughout the world uh, whose sole purpose is to get rid of the cars, have us all on bikes and buses, eating certain things at certain intervals and not buying so many items of clothing every year. Basically, their whole vision is dystopian and they want to basically screw our lives around. And the more people that know about this stuff, the better. Now, the chairman or the current chair of the C40 City Group, 
is none other than Sadiq Khan. You can see from their very own website, I mean, this isn't groundbreaking stuff. This is uh, all out there readily available. If any of you just type in C40 cities within Google, it comes up one of the top pages. Now, the reason I find New York uh, very, very convenient as a choice for this venue, I mean, yes, the UN General Assembly is there. I understand and I appreciate that. But there's a section on the C40 cities website as well which explains what cities are involved. And if we have a look, New York, New York City, the United States, population 8.6 million, Mayor Adams, and they've been a member of the C40 City Group 2005, nearly 20 years. And just to show you as well, if I go to London, let's have this one. Member since 2005 and also uh, on the steering committee. So you can see very much they are all in it together. Now, my little uh, head spins at this and I have to wonder, is there more going on at this conference than we're led to believe? But to say hypocrite, OK, maybe so. But with all that noise, are we taking our finger off the pulse and missing something vitally important? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll be interested to read them. And perhaps we can have a read back in the week. Anyway, that's me done for the day. Thank you very much for the support as always. Take care. Have a good day. I will see you tomorrow. Doodaloo.